I'm Robert and today we'll make a super super chocolatey cake, triple chocolate mousse. It has a lot of chocolate, but it's also balanced, meaning that the dark chocolate mousse is not too sweet and it compensates the other two chocolates. And I'll show you how to get a mousse that is very fluffy and soft. You'll see it's a very easy cake to make. And we'll get started to cut a long story short. Also, you can find the written recipe in the video description. We'll use a sponge that is easy to make and we'll go through the recipe super fast. I put all the dry ingredients in a bowl, 60 grams of flour, 60 grams of sugar, 20 grams of cocoa, 2 grams of baking powder, 2 grams of baking soda, and a pinch of salt, and the wet ingredients, one egg, 40 grams of milk, 40 grams of buttermilk, and 24 grams of oil. And we just mix the dry ingredients, then mix the wet ingredients, Combine them, doesn't matter which one on top of which one. And we mix with a spatula just until combined. The quantities are small because we'll have just one sponge at the bottom of the cake. And we also have a small cake. I have here an 18 centimeter ring that I put on a tray with a bit of parchment paper so it's easier to remove the sponge. Just pour the mixture in the ring. And bake it for about 25 minutes at 175 Celsius, no fan or until it passes the toothpick test and then let it cool down. Okay, the sponge is baked and cooled. Things got a bit crowded here, but we'll uncrowd them in a minute. We'll, uh, we'll start with three gelatin sheets that I'll put in a bowl with cold water so they hydrate until we do other stuff and I'll set them aside. Okay. I'll cut a thin top from the sponge just so the cream adheres better. Okay. And now I'll use a plastic disc to assemble the cake and the ring, the one I used to bake the cake. On the inside of the ring I'll use acetate. I use this 10 cm wide one just to make sure it's tall enough. We put the sponge in. Now for the mousse, we have three kinds of chocolate, dark, milk and white chocolate and I use 200 grams of chocolate for each mousse and 200 grams of cream for each mousse but I split the cream in two 100 grams will be liquid and 100 grams will be whipped cream. We'll start from the bottom with the dark chocolate mousse so 100 grams of cream 200 grams of chocolate that I placed on a double boiler so the chocolate melts the chocolate has melted and we got a nice shiny ganache. And in this ganache I put one of the gelatin sheets that I'll drain and wipe in a clean cloth. And I mix well until it melts. And now I'll add the whipped cream. Here I have uh, 300 grams of whipped cream for all three creams. As you can see, it's not whipped too hard. 
I'll add 100 grams over the chocolate and integrate it slowly. You can see how fluffy this mousse is. I stop mixing when the cream is fully homogenized and I pour it over the sponge, making sure I don't dirty the sides and trying to level it so at the end I get nice straight layers. This is the dark chocolate mousse. I'll do exactly the same with the milk chocolate one and then with the white chocolate mousse putting the cake in the fridge before adding the next layer for about half an hour and at the end put it in the fridge for at least six hours so the mousse hardens and the tastes in the cake combine very well. After a night in the fridge, the cake is ready. I just have to remove the acetate. Here, if you want to get a more shiny look to the side of the cake, you can heat it up with a hair dryer and after that remove the acetate. But I actually like to see the fluffy texture, so I just remove it like that. And for the decoration, I like to leave it as is, naked, so the layers are visible. And maybe add some simple decoration on top. But, of course, you can decorate it as you like. This was the recipe for today. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.